Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Arbuckle, and today we're back on Black Ops 2. Uh, we're playing Team Deathmatch on Cove, and what's really awesome about this gameplay is I'm using the SWAT, and I actually did extremely good with it. Um, I wanted to, to make a video using a, a weapon that I never use. I know that in a lot of my videos I'm using like the most overpowered guns in the game so I can do good because I'm not that amazing. Uh, but I found the SWAT, and I can't remember. I, I think I unlocked it, but I just I hated the gun. I didn't have any attachments. I just I wasn't a big fan. So I was like, you know what? I'll try to, to play with this gun and, and do it do it for the YouTube. <laughs> and it took me a long time, but I finally got like an extremely good gameplay. I don't want to spoil the score. I don't think I show it, but I'll tell you at the end of the video. But it was awesome. Uh, so we're using the SWAT. The reason we're playing Black Ops 2 is not because of Advanced Warfare. It's because I wanted to talk about Treyarch. And, and not just about how amazingly awesome Treyarch is. But uh, what is their next Call of Duty game going to be? A lot of people are already asking this question. I know it sounds silly because uh, Advanced Warfare just came out. But honestly, I've been more excited for Treyarch's new game than I was for Sledgehammer's. I'm sorry, Sledgehammer. I mean, you're, you got a good game, but... I'm really excited because I was a huge fan of Black Ops 2. Like, that was the Call of Duty that I probably played way too much. Uh, <laughs> um, as well as all of the other ones. But Black Ops 2 I really did enjoy. Uh, so I'm really interested to see what Treyarch is going to bring to the table. Now, here's the question. It's, it's either going to be Black Ops 3, World at War 2, or it's going to be a completely new series. Now, if you ask me, I honestly couldn't tell you. I couldn't give any idea you know I if it was Black Ops 3 I'd be hype if it was Word at War 2 I'd be hype you know I, I was a big fan of both of those games and I think it would be cool to see a Word at War 2 just because um, you know we haven't seen a game in the past at all recently uh, which is kind of weird to say but uh, you know you had Modern Warfare 3 that, that started going futuristic that, that you know picked up their game and then you had Black Ops 2 and Ghost and now Advanced Warfare they're all futuristic games and, and part of me wants to say that I don't think any other Call of Duty game will go back to the past just because they've all gone to the future now that, that they think that maybe it wouldn't be as good if they went to the past but um, honestly I think a World at War 2 would be a really big hit because there were so many World at War fans uh, you know I just <laughs> I don't know I just maybe I'm biased maybe I just want a World at War 2 game I mean don't you guys <laughs> I think it would be cool um, even if it's not World at War 2 you know any game that just went kind of back to the past that, that I don't know that went back and to reminisce I guess the only problem is nowadays in Call of Duty there's so many score streaks and there's all these different crazy kill streaks that they've been able to come up with because of the you know advancement in technology that they've had in the game so I feel like if they went back they wouldn't have as many ideas you know there wouldn't be as many crazy kill streaks that are like ridiculous and perks and you know what I mean I, I don't think it's coming out really like intelligent but I'm trying to I'm trying to get my point across maybe it's not making any sense but if you do understand what I'm saying congratulations you're you're a genius uh, but I don't know guys a, a, a black ops 3 that would be awesome too but I don't see where they would go with the storyline they'd probably have to bring they have to probably start something uh, something new bring something new to the table I don't know uh, Let's see, zombies. Oh my god. That's probably what people are most excited for. That's honestly one of the biggest reasons I'm I'm waiting for Treyarch's game is because of zombies. I love zombies. And um, honestly, in this game, this next game that'll be out next year, I think it'll be bigger and better than ever just because uh, with Black Ops 2, zombies went to a, all, a, a broken all time high. Like, there were so many people playing it, so they put so much more time into it. Came up with all these crazy Easter eggs, and the maps were so huge. And I mean, that for God's sakes, there was like a thousand foot robot on one of the maps. Like, it's incredible what they're doing now. Um, so, I'm hoping that zombies will have more, like, a, a, either a new storyline or they're going to have something crazy that's involved with zombies because honestly how cool would it be to have just like a zombies game just the whole game zombies i don't know we'll see uh <laughs> i'm guessing that there's probably going to be some crazy stuff that they're going to be doing in the future with zombies and i'm super excited for that honestly black ops 2 or black ops 2 black ops 3 world at war 2 whatever they're going to call it it's probably going to be the biggest game of the year just because everyone's excited to see what treyarch's going to do next and, and honestly i am too i cannot wait but <laughs> the biggest thing for me is like I, I keep thinking about this how in the world do they keep that game a secret how are they able to keep that game under the radar like i'm sitting here trying to think about how you can take a game with 
you know, hundreds of people working on it and for like three years and not leak it. How can people keep that hidden? I don't understand it. It makes no sense to me. Shout out to all you guys that work on games like this for not spoiling the the goodness. I, <laughs> I don't know, man. It amazes me how people are able to keep things like this secret, you know, because if you think about it, what if someone tells a friend and then that friend tells another friend and then I, I don't know. It just, I feel like it'd be so easy to spoil, but they do such a good job that, that they don't ruin it. But anyway, that's all I really wanted to talk about. I just wanted to, to let you guys know my input and what I hope to see. I try not to be too biased, but what, <clears throat> World of War II would be pretty awesome. Anyway, I uh, hope you guys did enjoy and I will talk to you guys in the next one. See ya.